here in the US, Labor Day kind of signifies the unofficial end of summer and the beginning of the fall season. And I'm sure you've all heard that old saying that you can't wear white after Labor Day. Well, let's take a trip back in time and figure out kind of where that all came from and if it's still relevant today. So back in the early 1900s, wearing white was a sign of wealth because most people were working manual labor jobs and their clothes would get dirty. And no one's gonna wear white working at a job in a factory. So essentially wearing white meant that you were upper class and you didn't have to work manual labor, so you didn't have to worry about getting your clothes dirty. It also meant that you were wealthy enough to be able to afford vacations to warmer climates in the fall and the winter. And then somewhere along the way, wearing white into the fall season was just kind of showing off your wealth, so it stopped. Then not wearing white after Labor Day became this firm rule in the upper class and they used it as a signifier of etiquette. Because if you wore white after Labor Day, you were making a fashion faux pas, according to the wealthy, and you weren't truly in the know, and that meant that you were not upper class. So the whole thing kind of started from a bad place anyway, and today, at least as far as I'm concerned, that rule no longer applies and it is 100% okay to wear white after Labor Day. I mean, who really cares anyway, right? It's only clothes. Now, yes, I do understand that wearing white into the fall and the winter season when the weather isn't as nice and you're outside walking around on wet pavement, that can cause your whites to get dirty a lot faster. And then of course, that is a valid concern and one reason to avoid wearing whites into the fall and the winter. But otherwise, I say go right ahead and wear white whenever you want in whatever season you want. So with that said, today I wanted to make this video and show several different ways that you can wear a pair of white pants in the fall season. So let's get started off first with the white denim that I selected because I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask down in the comments. These are from Express. They're size 30, 30 and slim fit. And for reference, I'm five foot nine, 175. So first, I paired it up with this light contrast plaid flannel shirt and some light tan suede Chelsea boots. I'm gonna leave links to everything down in the description so you can go check anything out that you like for yourself. I really like this look because it's not super contrasty, but it still says fall. Next, I threw on a couple different jackets just to get a feel for some different color combinations. And first is this green shirt jacket that I think looks terrific. Then I swapped out that for this brown suede jacket. And then finally, a lighter wash denim jacket. I think everything goes together really nicely, but feel free to take your pick or go with whatever else you like in a jacket. Okay, next I went with this dark red plaid flannel shirt and a pair of brown suede chukka boots. The shirt is very fall season appropriate and can easily be worn with darker pants, but I think it goes nicely with white also. The fit is pretty good. The length is just right to wear untucked or tucked in and the boots are a perfect pairing. Then I wanted to add a top layer, so I went with this navy blue cardigan that I recently picked up, and we will try to adjust some of the shadows and the contrast levels in post because it looks kind of dark on camera, but this is navy blue. And next up, we have this rich brown shirt, and it is a little bit big on me, but for the sake of this video, it works to provide some color options. And you probably saw this same combination in the how to wear brown video that I made just a few months ago but I feel it's a great shirt to pair up in the fall season with white pants and of course, brown boots. Then for the top layer, I went with another slightly different brown color for the bomber jacket, which in my opinion looks awesome as kind of a brown on brown element. And then finally, I went back to the green jacket for a different look. And then before we get too far, let me know down in the comments, which look today is your favorite because there's some pretty cool stuff coming up and I'm really curious to know what you guys like. Okay, now I swapped out the chukka boots for something a little bit more fun with these amazing cashmere boots with this brown heel and toe detail. And I went with the standard light blue denim shirt. The shirt has some pretty good thickness to it, so it's kind of nice to wear when the weather cools off. Then I went back to the brown jacket because blue and brown are complementing colors and they look amazing together. And for something a little bit different, but also very appropriate for fall, this amazing puffer vest. This would be great over a sweater or even a light jacket. Now next, I went back to the chukka boots, but then I added this floral pattern shirt and this burgundy sweater. The sweater itself is incredible and it's very versatile as you can see. And of course, if you're not crazy about the shirt, feel free to swap it out for any color that you like, including blue and even green. Okay, for this next one, I kept the chukka boots and I went with a darker floral pattern with some blue, green, gray, and burgundy colors. I've had this shirt for a while now and I'm not sure I'll be able to find a link for it specifically, but make sure you check down below for it. And for a top layer, 
I decided to go back to the denim jacket to pick up on some of those blue and gray tones in the shirt. Now I will say that typically floral patterns are best suited for spring and summer, but something with heavier and darker tones like this can absolutely work in the fall. Okay, I've got some really cool looks coming up for you. So if you made it this far in the video, please hit the like button to let me know. All right, so as you may already know, turtlenecks are big this fall and winter. So I picked up this lightweight brown one just a few days ago, and it's a great piece to pair up with the white jeans. I also have a couple brand new jackets to pair up with it. First, this dark brown textured bomber jacket with button closures, and also this amazing blue zip bomber. Both are great and pair up nicely with the brown turtleneck. Gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you could, I would really appreciate it if you could just take one and a half seconds, hit that little like button to show YouTube that I'm still here and still alive. And with that, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.